This is tragic on so many different levels. Connecticut Gun Bench. Today's video is brought to you by PAN Firearms LLC. PAN Firearms for your NRA certification and multifaceted gun training. You can reach us at 203-300-6343 or use our website at www.panfirearmsllc.com. As always, there'll be a link in the description box below. But let's talk about this. Since unfortunate, unfortunate tragedy, St. Louis, Missouri, where from all accounts, two cousins were playing and for whatever reason, they found access to a firearm. That's a problem at right off the jump, but they had access to the firearm and they were apparently in a room while streaming live on video. And the girl had the gun and she fatally shot her cousin and then she shot herself. Well, let me, here's the uh, video for that. Two children are dead after one of them found a gun during a family party in downtown St. Louis. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Michelle Lee. And I'm Kelly Jackson. And for Brent Solomon, family members tell us a 12-year-old girl accidentally shot and killed her 14-year-old cousin. Police say the girl then died by suicide. Five on your side's Christine Byers talked to the girl's mom this afternoon. She is live in downtown St. Louis with this exclusive interview. Christine. Kelly, police are still investigating exactly how this shooting happened, but the mother of Paris Harvey, 12 years old, tells me it was all accidental. <laughs> Shanice Harvey wept on her front porch less than 12 hours after she learned her daughter Paris and her brother's son Karan were dead. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It happened at about 2 o'clock Friday morning here at the couple's apartment complex in downtown St. Louis, just a few blocks away from Bush Stadium. Shanice said she let her daughter go to a party with family to celebrate March birthdays. And everybody was getting together to uh, celebrate. And so the younger kids, they got a, a bed and breakfast. Shanice said her daughter found a gun and accidentally shot and killed her cousin. Police are calling the little girl's death a suicide. Shanice believes her daughter shot herself accidentally. And it was all streamed live on Instagram. They was making a video and they she was playing with the gun, but it went off and hit him. And as it hit him, she dropped the gun and it fell and it went off from my knowledge. And then uh, she, when she picked it up, she picked it up by the barrel and it went off. And that's all I need. I'm so sorry. I appreciate you all trying to get the story right. I truly appreciate that. Thank you so much. Because it seems like you have just as many questions as we do about how could this happen at 2 o'clock in the morning yeah. with kids this young. Yeah. And there's no way that, you know, with all that family, you know, they should have basically, like, made sure she was okay. Everybody, everybody should have stuck with somebody. You know, we got to look out for each other. We're family. And, you know, she, they're young. So. <sighs> now, police are still trying to determine who owned the gun and whether anyone can be charged in connection with this terrible tragedy. Live in downtown St. Louis, Christine Byers, five on your side. Now, you saw that, you heard that, but for the sake of context, I want to go through this article here, ABC News, titled, Online Video Show Shows Girl Failey Shooting Cousin and Herself. Two young cousins were live streaming from a St. Louis apartment when one child Failey shot the other before killing herself in what family members say was a tragic accident. St. Louis, two young cousins were live streaming from a St. Louis apartment when one child fatally shot the other before killing herself in what family members say was a tragic accident. Police are still investigating Friday's incident in which a 12-year-old girl, Paris Harvey, shot a 14-year-old boy, Kuran Harvey, before shooting herself. 
Police initially described it as a murder-suicide. The girl's granddaughter, Susan Dyson, told the St. Louis Post-Dispatch that she saw the Insta Instagram Live video the two cousins were making together at a downtown St. Louis apartment the family had rented to celebrate March birthdays. It wasn't a situation where they were arguing or anything like that, said Dyson, who is from the Dallas area. They're playing with the gun when they shouldn't have been. Of course, they shouldn't have been doing it. I think it was, it just went off. It went off by mistake. Family members said cousins have been raised close together. Karan's mother and Paris's father are siblings. Paris and Karan were alone in a bathroom making a video in the mirror before the shooting happened. Family members said that after Karan was shot, the video showed Paris reaching for the gun and it may have accidentally gone off again. They said they believed the gun was Karan's both children were shot in the head. Why does a 14-year-old have a firearm? But it, was no, it was no murder. It wasn't a suicide, said Shanice Harvey, 35, Paris's mother. It was a freak accident. It happened. Harvey said she had not seen the video, but family members had described it to her. She said the cousins were trying to be too hip. Paris and Karan Harvey were often together making videos and pulling pranks. Family members said Paris was one of nine children with a funny seventh grader who loved getting her hair and nails done and had a beautiful voice. They described Karan as a goofy eighth grader who had long been able to do backflips. And that's fine. But unfortunately, there were very young people who just did not have a real grasp of common sense. And that unfortunately comes back from their parents. You know, you teach your children, you see a firearm, you just don't touch it, especially at that age. Now, the whole notion of this was not, it wasn't murder. No, I think it wasn't, it wasn't murder. It wasn't, you know, check. It was a murder, but it gun didn't accidentally go off. They were playing with it. They didn't know any better, and she pulled the trigger. And for it to accidentally go off twice, no. She probably panicked and shot herself. And as, as tragic as that is, there is the truth. It's, but this comes back to, once again, we can only go so far, so far with putting blame on the children. It comes back to the parents. How did these 12 and 14 year old get access to a handgun? There it is right there. So I just did this because you gotta be vigilant with your safety at all times. I think that children of a certain age should be taught firearm safety. Firearm safety first. First and foremost taught safety, how to inspect the gun, how to check to see if it's loaded. Now, technically they shouldn't be touching it at all, but if they're ever put in a situation where they come across a firearm, at least you know you've given them the information on how to safely handle it. This is a tragedy and it's unfortunate it happens. I hope that the story will get other gun owners to, you know, not just stick their firearms in a draw when their children in the house. If anything, if you should be teaching that child the basics of gun safety. Really sad. Two young lives lost to, you know, really just, quite honestly, ignorance of firearms. By all accounts. Not just the children. The adults also. But let me know what you think. As always, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. Any statements of violence or statements that lead to violence will be removed. Please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified the next time a video goes live. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.